one of the bigger challenges, especially at the beginning, was uh, being in the shadow of previous interpreters. Because um, the pieces that I did, or that I have done, did belong to the great Limon dancers of old. And especially during my first 10 years, there was always somebody that would come up to me and said, hey, I saw Jose do that part, and you didn't do this, and he did that. And, and, and I saw Louis do that, and he was a lot more this way. And, uh, and I mean, it just happens in repertory. So that was something that was, uh, well, it wasn't hard to take, but it was, it, would, it was a little hard to deal with because I didn't know what the response would be to that. I mean, ultimately, and this is one of the reasons why I, I've been in this company for so long, there's a sense of, I believe, there's a sense of indi individual contribution, of the value of the individual and what they have to bring to the work. So even though the repertory is set, even though the pieces were cast and made famous or notorious or infamous or whatever during the life of the original interpreters of the work, because it is about ultimately being human with all of the garbage and all of the, the truisms that you bring as your, as your individual self, then the role is open to be whoever you want to be. But yes, it was made famous by other people, so of course you're going to have somebody say, I really love that piece and I really, really liked Jose doing it. You know, I got that a lot.